hey guys what's going on welcome back to this brand new android library tutorial and today in this video i'm going to show you that how to use a alerta dialogue library in our android app so you can see here we have a alerta which is actually a pretty much beautiful and really amazing library so it is actually like this you can see whenever you press or whenever you whenever the user complete any kind of action then it will be going to display this alert uh, dialog which is actually coming from the top of the device and it comes over the action bar so anyway now in this video we are going to have a look at how we can able to integrate this alert into our android app so talking about the alert we have where simply everything is really easy and nice and also there is every kind of every single kind of explanation is given inside this website so actually i don't want to actually talk about this but simply i'm going to show you that how to actually use it properly inside our android app so you can see we have the customization or like you can change the background color you can change the icon you can also set the duration in milliseconds so also you can you can also just do it without the title and uh, also you can add the one click listener and there is a lot of other features you can do with this like you have the callbacks and the custom fonts yeah that's one of the best thing that i have seen so that you can use the custom fonts inside this alerta like what you have seen in this preview and also you can add the swipe to dismiss and finally we have a progress bar which is also at the bottom of this alerta so anyway let's go and here try that how we can able to use it inside our android app so first off you have to go to this website which is actually i have given the link in the description below this video so once you're in the website all you have to do is simply copy this dependency and now go back to your build and once you are in this app level gradle file you have to just add a line and paste the copy dependency inside here and once you're done then click on this thing now and by this time the gradle is going to build the process let's go to give a try to what we can do with else so we have the alerter and in case if you are adding this inside a fragment then you will have to change this context into get activity or a get application context or view so anyway we are going to add inside a activity so i want to just copy this or better is to just copy the one that has a little bit more specification like this one maybe like we have the icon in this one so by default there will be an icon that is this bell icon and in case if you don't want it then you can uh, use this line and give it as nothing and we have the duration that is given in the millisecond we have uh, without title and uh, yeah one click listener which is pretty much great for a alerter now anyway now let's go and i want to just copy this thing because this is a basic one so just copy coming back to the android studio go to main activity so before that we have to make sure that it is going to show when a process is completed or uh, when a button is clicked or something like that so if you want to just show this after a process has been completed then you can use the one finish or any kind of methods to look forward that the process has been completed and uh, just in case if you want to show it uh, when a button is clicked then you have to simply go and add a button into this layout so I want to add a button now let's go I want to change this name into ID actually ID into show alert also changing this into now when this button is clicked I just want to show that alert so what I have to do is simply go to main activity and specify that button adding a semicolon and now we have to cast it so press alt enter and select the first one that's it now I want to add a one click listener for the button so that we can add the alert inside this one click method new one click listener and now I want to paste the alert copy alert codes inside this one click method so pasting it here and now as you can see you have to just click on this alert and press alt enter and that will automatically import it into this library 
now we have done and in case if you got some kind of errors then try changing to the activity name which is main activity so main activity dot this okay so if it is not working then you can try get activity or get it in case if you are in the fragment then you can use the get activity or get application contacts or the view okay now we have the set title which i want to change it into something like okay well done and this text which is going to be the description so i want to change it into okay now i have changed this and uh, now we have the set background color which you if you want to change then you can change it and uh, next i want to also add enable swipe to dismiss which is a pretty much great thing and just in case if you want you can also add the millisecond so for that you have to add the duration set duration and i want to show this for something like eight seconds so i want to add it as eight thousand finally we have to add a set one click listener then new one click listener so i want to show a toast message saying that the alert has been clicker okay now that's done and finally you have to make sure that there is this line which is dot show otherwise if you didn't write this line then it will be not going to show this alerter so now anyway let's go and try this in a real android device okay guys so we have the android app in the android device and there's nothing on the screen just a button and when i press the button blam you can see we have this alerter and it will be going after eight second and by this time we have the title as well done and we have the text that is a description that we have given and now we have the background color as the color ascent that we have given inside the class.xml file and also we have this swipe to dismiss and you can see when i swipe it to right it will be going to dismiss and now when i press it you can see alert is clicked there is a toast message saying that so if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out